My name is Anastasia, I represent Yellow Network. Um, nice I wanted to ask you a few questions about the conference, the Metaverse, and um, your role in it. So, could you start with introducing yourself? Uh, I'm Alex Vasilchen. Uh, we are working with the virtual and augmented reality uh, since 2015 year. And uh, we had no word metaverse for, for years and uh, it was hard to uh, explain to people what we are actually doing. Yeah, now, now we have uh, simple words. Yeah, we are just metaverse company. Uh, we uh, know the technologies uh, that should lie inside uh this uh, new social networking so what side of the metaverse do you work closely with closely we are experts in 3d graphics uh, so we uh, work with the uh, most complex cases uh, in this uh, field uh, for example we uh, did uh, several locations uh, for a uh, concert of uh, arabian musician hamaki yeah. in fortnite uh, so it's uh, a full cycle uh, of creation of idea from uh, the creativity, what you want to imagine to create in Metaverse as uh, it's absolutely pure creativity. You can imagine everything you want in Metaverse and uh, create it. Yeah, actually the videos from that uh, Fortnite uh, concert were like really amazing. Kind yeah, of. and it's much more amazing uh, participate in. Just uh, when you come uh, and walk for, through the uh, room and communicate with people. Uh, I already uh, had public talks inside Metaverse, and uh, uh, oh. yeah, and we are thinking about uh, making stand-up club comedy inside Metaverse. Perfect. And we should next time we should be doing interview in yeah, Metaverse. Yeah, let's do. I should get myself like a nice avatar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but actually, um, here's a question. So, um, you hold an event in Metaverse, and all the people they have their avatars. But basically, the only connection you have with your avatar are like your um, like you hold like a joystick or mm, yeah. Uh, the interaction with uh, metaverses yeah, is uh, hard for now, uh, as uh, technology experts hoping that uh, uh, speech recognition will be better and better with uh, years and uh, we uh, can use to communicate with uh, techniques uh, with the voice. Uh, we are actually on the way currently using our AI assistance in phones. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it will be just uh, more <coughs> simple to use it inside uh, augmented reality glasses, for example. Yeah. And uh, how about uh, movements? So if you, mm -hmm. want, if you go to a concert, you, you want to dance, right? But your movements aren't actually uh, represented in the metaverse. So what should, the, should it be like some kind of costume? that kind of replicates uh, your moves or how will it look like? I think uh, no one uh, will want uh, to have a full body suit yeah, uh, to sure. just to communicate with friends uh, for five minutes maybe for example. Uh, but uh, they, yeah, full body suits can be used uh, in B2B cases in professional industry for example. There are uh, suits for training of uh, firemen. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a perfect uh, use case of Tesla suit company, for example. Mm -hmm. But uh, for usual user, uh, with, for entertainment uh, in Metaverse, I think it should be some tracking system uh, that uh, not uh, need to be uh, put on yourself and uh, not hard uh, to uh, set up inside any mm -hmm. building. So maybe uh, like a so, camera? Yeah, for, for, for now technologies are not yet uh, user friendly, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on the way. What will it take for them to become more sophisticated? You know, right now, Metaverse is really not really fun. I mean, you can go to events or you can, you know, like play some games uh, or watch Netflix on a huge screen, but that's pretty much it. So what should be in place? Uh, that's so that's pretty much uh, people uh, call it life. But then the Metaverse is supposed to be like some exciting space where you can do things that you can't uh, in real life. And for that, we need some more advanced hardware. Well, Metaverse is not exciting for you already. <laughs> uh, what should be more exciting than Metaverse currently? Um, psychedelic Metaverse, I don't know. Or maybe what can be my more, more creative? Oh, well, I'm sure there will be a psychedelic Metaverse one day. 
I think we uh, will soon uh, meet it. I think your colleague mentions that um, there's like huge investments on the way from really big corporations that want to be a part of uh, the metaverse. So are there already some um, some huge deals that you think would uh, like impact the course of uh, metaverse uh, in a good way? I think uh, industry is only trying. Uh, we. Uh, we see uh, first use cases and uh, they usually are not uh, a lo lot of money earning. Okay. Uh, it's uh, first se steps uh, and exper experiments. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's half uh, successful, half not and, uh, and so on. Um, so yeah, we need to accumulate more experience uh, in the world about this uh, business, and uh, yeah, projects uh, will become more and more successful. Yeah, like bring more real values. Of yeah, their yeah. The most uh, value that virtual, virtual reality, for example, uh, gives uh, now it's virtual reality trainings. It's uh, much more. Uh, immersive to receive information uh, mm -hmm. in, and learn inside virtual reality. We uh, remember the information uh, when we are uh, immersed, uh, okay. where, when the, we are inside the process and VR helps it a lot. So that's like an example with a fireman who can like train actually performing their tasks kind of like in fake yeah, uh, yeah, and understand uh, where fire can catch him and where not uh, without uh, real damage. What do you think is the main, main challenge that Metaverse has yet to overcome? Uh, I know that uh, current uh, pre-Metaverse uh, products like, uh, for example, Clubhouse uh, are beaten with uh, hate speech recognition. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most uh, complex uh, thing for now is uh, how to control people people inside Metaverse. Uh, we need uh, different uh, algorithms uh, to uh, stop bad words, uh, to stop uh, bad social things that can be in social uh, networks. Wait, but isn't it like censorship? So basically what they're fighting for in Twitter and stuff. Uh, so Metaverse, even though it gives you endless possibilities, will still end up being like censored? Uh, first you need uh, some uh, user recognition. Uh, you should be sure that uh, everyone has, uh, has um, proper authorization mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I think you don't, do not need uh, and want uh, your children to meet uh, bad guys in Metaverse. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So yeah, you need to recognize such uh, patterns uh, mm -hmm. in social uh, um, stuff inside metaverses, and uh, we did not yet it uh, made. What's your personal goal in the metaverse space? Oh, well, for now, I think uh, um, half a product to, to uh, on the road to metaverse is digital avatars, okay. and uh, currently we are making our non-existing uh, 3D star. Uh, she will be a musician. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, she currently on this event uh, today. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, look uh, on her profile on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you're creating like a virtual influencer that will be not even existing in real life but still making more money than you can ever imagine. Yeah, yeah. as you not, uh, not, do not need uh, to have influencer at, and pay him. You can just produce uh, content uh, with 3D team and uh, you can just earn all the money that uh, our project can create. That's pretty impressive. Well, I wish you all the luck in the metaverse, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was oh, a pleasure yeah. speaking to you. Yeah, thank you.